supply and demand. That's our topic for today's Backstage Pass. Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far today. Mortgage bonds and stocks are both down today. Mortgage rates are uh, opened higher today and kind of continuing that upward trend. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. But first, let's talk about the housing market. Let's talk about supply and demand. So the housing market is just like any other open market. It is subject to the forces of supply and demand. And we got some news today about housing supply. So this news comes from the U.S. Department of Commerce, and it has to do with um, new home starts, permits, and completions. Now, we already have the household formation data, and so let's talk about that first. That's the demand side of the housing market. Household formation right now is occurring at a, between a 1.6 and 1.7 million unit annualized pace. That's the demand side of things, and these are people that are uh, moving out of their parents' house or getting finished with college. They're creating their own families. They're forming their own households, okay? And that age group, that 24 to 27 age group is a huge age group right now. And so. Household formations, again, about a 1.6 to 1.7 million annualized pace. That's the demand side of the housing market. Let's go back and let's look at the supply side of the housing market that came out today. All right. So for the month of August, housing starts, which are basically just a hole in the ground. You know, there's no construction going on yet. This is their started construction in August. Housing starts were up about 12 percent to a 1.75 million unit annualized pace. All right. So we're already seeing that the starts a little bit on the downside, a little bit underneath the household formations. Housing permits were actually down about 10% month over month in the month of August. And that's important because housing permits is future supply. That's what's gonna be built in the future. And then when we look at housing completions, completions were down about 5.4% to 1.35 million unit annualized pace. And so all of the stats on the supply side of things are coming in underneath the stats on the demand side of things. What that means is that there's more demand than there is supply in the housing market. And that's why we think that we will continue to see home prices supported simply because of the supply and the demand economics. Now, what's going on right now? We know a lot of these buyers, potential buyers, are being sidelined right now. They're not getting into the market because mortgage rates are on the higher side right now. But the expectation and you know the hope and, and truly the expectation is that as we move into quarter four of 2022 and quarter one of 2023, as inflation starts to come down, and it will, we will see mortgage rates start to come down as well. And as mortgage rates come down, these buyers are going to move into the market and start to you know, purchase their homes. And so um, that's kind of what's going on with the su supply and demand side of the housing market. And look, as we talk about inflation, you know, we talk about the Fed. Tomorrow is an important meeting with the Fed. The Fed is going to be releasing their uh, Fed fund rate announcement tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Everyone is expecting a 75 basis point rate hike for the Fed fund rate. That is expected. What's unexpected right now is the discussion in the comments from Federal Chairman Jerome Powell, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. So as Jerome Powell gives his comments at the press conference at 2.30 Eastern time, those comments are going to be closely watched because they are going to be indicative of how the Fed is feeling about inflation right now, the future of inflation, and really what they're planning on doing with the Fed fund rate again in the future. So those comments have more potential for this week to be market moving. So everybody's going to be listening to those comments paying very close attention. Now, as far as, as far as the markets today, mortgage bonds are down about 25 basis points today. The 10-year yield is up about eight basis points, trading at 3.56%. 10-year yield moved over that 3.49% ceiling that we were keeping an eye on. Um, so that's about where the 10-year yield is. Yesterday, the national average for a 30-year fixed mortgage, well, that came in at 6.42%. Today, we're expecting mortgage rates, that 30-year fix, to come in at around 6.5%. Um, so that's all the news that we have for today. Again, we'll bring you the news about you know, the, the press conference and the, the remarks that Jerome Powell has. We'll talk more about that on Thursday in depth. And if anything comes up that's super important or, or market moving, we will be sure to alert you and let you know. But that's all the news that we have for today. Hope you have a great day. Remember to stay positive, and we'll see you tomorrow.